friends friends can you tell me what is this type of connections which is shear connection which one is moment connection which one is simply supported connection which one is fixed connection no difficult friends in next 5 minutes me satish jaitwani from iz engineers is going to explain you how to identify the type of connection by merely looking at it yes you had it right just by looking at the type of connection at a connection in the project site in actual project site you will be easily able to identify in few second which is what type of connection supported beam in our academy this is a simply supported beam this is how you draw and this is fixed beam this is how we draw if the load is there how it is going to deflect okay so this is the way how simply supported beam is going to deflect and this is how fixed beam is going to okay friends let us try this with a scale Okay, this is a simple scale. Okay, this is simply supported. Consider this is simply supported, and we are putting a load over it. Now, friends, you can see how it is getting different. Okay. Now, friends, let us make it fix. And now, again, put a load over it. Now, friends, you can see how it is deflected. slightly difficult to identify the shape okay we will do in some better way. this is simply supported when there is a load it is going to bend like this okay and if it is fixed it is going to bend see you can see this shape exactly same what we have drawn here okay Now, friends, what we are doing? The deflection curve what we have drawn for simply supported as well as fixed. Let us just draw it in a double line. See the double line deflection curve in simply supported, and also have a look on the double line deflection curve when it is fixed. Now, friends, what is happening? You can see. when it is simply supported this particular vertical face my dear friends it is getting rotated okay now if you talk about fixed connection you can see this particular vertical face is not getting rotated it's steady okay so here it's a main difference simply supported it is getting rotated in fix it is not getting rotated now how to achieve this friends here this is a particular beam say i section if i am holding from the center if i am holding from the center you can see this particular face is getting rotated can you see this face is rotated Okay, I am holding properly. Still, it is getting rotated. Now, I want to hold this rotation. Okay, I want to restrain this rotation. What I can do? Let's do magic. What magic we are going to do? I am going to hold it like this. Now, see, it is not getting rotated. So, what is the difference? If I hold it from the center, it is simply supported. If 
I hold it from the top and bottom. This is not getting connected. So this is fixed. This is set. Now friends, let us try to understand what is happening here. When there is an actual column, an actual beam, okay, it is connected with clip angle. Okay. Now when beam is getting rotated, this particular beam is getting rotated. That beam needs some space at this particular location between the flange of the beam and flange of the column. Okay, at top and bottom. Again, I am repeating. If you want this beam to be rotated, it needs some space at this particular location. Okay, my dear friends. So, if there is a space, it can be rotated. Let us draw one more beam. Now, in this particular beam, I have no given space. So, you can understand that this now cannot be rotated. See, if there is a space from the column, I have hold only from the center, I can have a clip angle here, but still it can be rotated. But if I put it just like this, touching with each other, then this cannot be rotated. Okay, so now it is as simple as that. You just need to look at the space at this particular location. So friends, this is the important point. This is the main point to identify. If there is a space, then it can rotate. That means it is simply supported, which we call shear connection. But if there is no space, then it cannot be rotated. Then it is fixed. That means moment connection. Friends, this particular space can be filled by plates or it can be filled by welding. Now friends, see this particular type of connection. Can you tell me which is the connection? Yes? Yes. This is shear connection because there is space near flanges of the beam. And if I say, what is this type of connection? Yes, can you tell me? Yes, you are right, my dear friends. This is moment connection because there is no space at this particular location. Okay, friends. So, you understood just in few minutes how to identify the type of the connection by merely looking at it. Now, friends, what if I say, in just 20 hours, you will be able to understand how to decide the plan bracing location, how to decide the vertical bracing location, how to decide where to put which type of connection, whether shear or moment. How to decide the support fixity, that means the column about which axis it will be fixed and about which axis it will be fixed. You will understand how to decide the column orientation. You will understand the force transfer mechanism and many more things. Just in 20 hours. Surprise? Friends, yes, you heard it right. Our course of steel structural concepts, industrial structural concepts is designed like that, that in just 20 hours, you will understand all these things. Friends, what if I say, if you don't understand, your money will be refunded. Let's make it even better. No advance payment. If you don't understand, do not pay. Yes, again you heard it correctly, my dear friends. World's first institute, which takes even the first installment of fees at the halfway through your course. If you don't understand, no need to pay, simply quit the course, do not pay. For more details on this course, please click on this i button. 
for our website contact detail brochures please visit the description part of this video to know about the fees structure simply type fees and whatsapp us on this given numbers thank you so much my